So, we have on the line the police commissioner, Gary Griffith. Commissioner Griffith, one of these things does not go with the other. Which story is true? Well, you know, Dominic, the court of public opinion has already consumed what it is. No one has ever seen Tatmarat smile like that in his life. It's the fact of the matter is that initially Radio Jaggerty, they made a comment, um, and again, with Radio Jaggerty and Matt, I think, um, Dominic, and to, the, and to the public, I think we have better things to do. The Transit Legal Police Service, we have no intention to get in a petty cat fight with Matt or Radio Jaggerty. Um, Radio Jaggerty made a statement. We showed everything to show that what they said was totally misleading. Um, the fact you showed Martin, everything, Mr. Commissioner? Mr. Commissioner, you showed a photograph. Who, show, who shot that photograph? No, but wait a minute, Dominic. The fact is, let's look at it. Um, Commissioner, Jaggerty did the police word. team go to the scene with photographers? Um, I, am, I am not aware, but there were six persons in, in clothes and two uniformed police officers without firearms. So to start with... So was that the, the only photograph taken? Well, I don't know if it is that... If it is, I, I will think that if it is that they claimed that so many... Um, first they said, Radio Jaguarty said that there was a recording and, and when someone was recording, the police got upset. Why didn't Radio Jaguarty show the recording of all of this hostility, all of these raids, Dominic? I mean, it's, it's quite obvious that it is definitely not adding up. Likewise, they said that a warrant was never shown, but now they sent a release explaining about this, so this warrant that they never saw. So Radio Jaguarty, they need to get their act together. The public is getting rather bored of this misleading information. The fact is, there's a photograph. Sat Maraj was smiling with the individuals. They were allowed entry. There was no forced entry. It was not a raid. A raid is forced entry. The police officers were in plain clothes. There were no weapons. They, they were allowed to sit for 20 minutes. It was a cordial relationship. Sat Maraj has never been seen smiling like that in his life. Could you think that Commissioner, it was a on whose was a orders was uh, that like warrant this? initiated? Pardon? On whose order was that warrant initiated? If, uh, the Trevor the Labour Police Service, we have, a, we have a, a, a special investigative unit. We will look at different matters. And I am not here as the Commissioner of Police to be cross-examined. The fact of the matter is the, the police service had a job to do. And it seems that too many people want to tell the police how to do their job. If it has, what was the ground, the what was the ground for the search uh, warrant? Dominic, is it that you're going to interrupt me every time I speak uh, before I answer the question? You call me Are you going to answer the question I asked, sir? I, I, cannot, I cannot answer if you interrupt me. So it's basic manners, Dominic. Well, it's also basic manners to know there's a time constraint. So briefly, can you tell me what, uh, what initiated the search warrant? What prompted it? The fact of the matter is the police, the police have a job to do, and our job is to ensure that, is, that there's law and order in this country. All that was done is to ensure that there was an inquiry, and to have an inquiry, this becomes a... You tell an me. An inquiry requiring a, a, a such a large contingent? Well, you know, Dominic, if it says you do something and you do, you do some research and education, FBI, if they do proper investigation for a matter on white collar crime, they go to over 60 police officers. I didn't know that there was a ratio, Dominic Calipasad. In future, please guide me on the ratio of police officers that should turn up for an investigation like that. In situations, FBI will turn up with 60 officers. There's more, it's monitor things, there are different specialists, but Dominic Calipasad seems to know more about policing and the numbers that should attend for these operations. Well, sir, please no, we're simply asking the questions that the general public have been asking. Dominic, As for instance, what was me. the specific reason for the visit to the station? But Dominic, you have asked me and I've given you the answer. In an operation with the FBI in a similar manner, they will have over 60 officers. I have never heard citizens try to question the ratio of police officers that would attend this. The fact is, they were in plain clothes, Two men were in uniform, not no weapons shown, but this yet Matt and Radio Jaguarty saw this as being alarming with a raid and an assault. It were weighed, measured, and the course of public opinion has found that they have been found wanting. The police did their job, and people need to stop trying to tell the police how to do their job. If the police did anything incorrectly, I would advise that they should write to the Commissioner of Police, and I will give you the assurance it will be thoroughly investigated. On a related matter, sir, are we still on a red alert this weekend? Yes, it will remain until Tuesday. It is no sense, not a concern for alarm. It is just based on the situation with the increase in homicides that took place several days ago. We have the upcoming Bushu concert and with the long Easter weekend. There have been hundreds of patrols, roadblocks. I wish to do, apo I do apologize to the public for the inconvenience. It has proven to be very effective and we will continue to operate in this manner until Tuesday. I know people have stated that we should do this constantly, but you cannot see the intensity of a red alert um, throughout because we have police officers that have been out for sometimes over 18 hours non-stop. They've been working every night, 
several days. We're trying to make a police service. We are putting out. We are doing everything possible. Some officers have not been home for a few days. Yet people have nothing better to do but to criticize the police service because we are trying to do their job. Yet because people came, there was a raid and an assault with six officers in plain clothes trying to ensure that we were just trying to rectify a situation and clarify a matter. Thank you, Commissioner, for taking the time to answer our questions. And good luck over the weekend with your readily.